Uh, tell us uh, what the new radio system uh, is going to do and when will it be imp fully implemented. Okay. As far as Star County coming on to the uh, statewide system or the MARC system, we at the Sheriff's Office are already up on some of the channels. We can become fully functional in less than a week at our dispatch center. But the communications with the MARC system is going to enhance our communications throughout the whole county, adjoining counties, and even statewide with the new system. The uh, dispatch centers will have better communication with each other. The officers on the street and the firefighters who are on the street that are out there will have better enhanced communications with each other. Basically based on an interoperability communication system to where the firemen and the policemen and the dispatch centers will be able to communicate between multiple channels on any given incident. A lot of things happened before there would be relay between one dispatch center to another from one officer on the street to his dispatch center, and then they would be calling the second dispatch center or our dispatch center, then relaying that information to the officer that may be coming to assist. With the MARC systems, we have the capability to either patch these communications with each other, or these officers can go to a channel on the MARC system and talk directly with each other. So it'll be avoiding the, basically the old school game of telephone to where we're gonna have direct line of communications between officer to officer, officer to fireman, or fireman to fireman. Under the old 800 system that's currently in place and still being utilized, some agencies were not on that system. So it would rely on communications between okay. the dispatch centers. So now with the majority of the agencies in Star County that are gonna be on board with the MARC system, it's gonna, it's gonna actually prevent some delays from information going back and, be, back and okay. forth between the centers and the officers. Uh, Sheriff Meyer, uh, what's the status of the radio system, of the new radio system right now? Well, we're currently uh, doing some crossover with folks uh, that are crossing over on, from the old platform onto the new P25, uh, Stark Marks platform. Uh, we're well on our way with that. A number of agencies have already transferred over, including the Stark County Sheriff's Office has transferred over, uh, both our Civil Division and our Road Patrol Division. Also our jail division, because the school's emergency marks radios will be on the system. Uh, they already are on the platform, so that's good. That's a start. Um, our agency will be on, uh, Canton City Police and Fire will be on, uh, Maslin City Police and Fire. Um, you know, we have a, a number of other agencies that are beyond it. The list is pretty, uh, pretty long. Uh, we're pleased that most everybody has participated in this program. And uh, the thing that really make, uh, make aware to the, your viewers is that it's available to any uh, public safety agency. So we're, we're pleased that even if an agency could not get on at this time for some reason, they can always get on the system in the future. Every tower had to be upgraded, if you will, to meet the uh, Motorola slash Marks uh, specifications. And so that included, you know, power generators, if they didn't have power generators, uh, backup systems, um, you know, air conditioning systems so that the system stays cool, and including the uh, radio equipment itself had to be upgraded. So uh, there was a lot of work that went into preparing these towers and upgrading these towers, making them secure, and actually acquiring additional towers to be as part, on part of the system. Um, the biggest advantage is uh, we can talk to each other when there's an emergency. Um, I think the part of that advantage is it will save lives. And so one person would call another person that would call a third person, then maybe would dispatch the information to an officer or a firefighter in the field. And it just wasn't, it, you know, it was 1980s technology and it just wasn't efficient with the technology that's available today. And it did, it did put people's lives in danger. Uh, we can talk to each other in real time if there's an incident that happens in the county, a natural disaster, um, you know, a crash, something of that nature where we need to communicate, we're able to do that in real time, uh, really with maybe basically a push of the button. And